welcome back to Kabiga's Reviews. Today, we're looking at Cruella, the 2021 film directed by Craig Gillespie and starring Emma Stone, Emma Thompson, Joel Fry, Paul Walter Hauser, Kirby Howell Baptiste, John McRae, and Mark Strong, among others. Growing up, Estella never seemed to fit in and always found herself in trouble. After a tragedy, she finds herself alone and becomes a grifter, determined to make a name for herself in the fashion world. After she meets a pair of hapless thieves who appreciate her appetite for mischief, they build a somewhat successful life for themselves on the streets of London. However, when Estella befriends fashion legend Baroness von Hellman, she realises an awful truth and embraces her wicked side to become the raucous and revenge-bent Cruella. Now I want to thank my very good friend Sam and Tony for recommending this movie to me. They gave it a resounding thumbs up and it was their recommendation that was the final straw or the uh, deciding vote, shall we say, for me actually watching this film. It was always on the cards for me to watch it because I love Emma Stone, I love Emma Thompson, it's a Disney, it's Cruella, and I'm really interested in all that kind of thing. So why wouldn't I watch it? So thanks to you guys, I have watched it and you were not wrong. It is thoroughly enjoyable. I can see why people are comparing it to The Devil Wears Prada and Joker, though it does have more in common with the former than the latter. Basically, it's more like The Devil Wears Prada than it is Joker, thankfully. Now, we do follow um, an innocent character, shall we say, Estella, as she grows up and embraces her dark side. And that's really where the comparisons with Joker come from, because Arthur Fleck does the same. Now, he's influenced more by society, whereas Estella is influenced more by her nature and where she comes from. So there are very big differences, but there are some small similarities, and thankfully, that's where the similarities to Joker end. So back to Cruella. I absolutely love Emma Stone's performance in this. It is gloriously camp and it is just delicious in its evil and over the top nature. And I absolutely love that. And I love the theme of this film, which is about embracing who you are. It's about accepting your nature and being yourself and expressing yourself. I mean, you should express yourself, don't repress yourself. And that is basically what this film is saying. Unfortunately, as with Joker and Cruella, these guys, these characters are the baddies. So Joker is obviously the Joker and Cruella is Cruella de Vil, the baddie from 101 Dalmatians. So you wouldn't necessarily want to go full on Cruella or full on Joker, but definitely ex express who you are and accept who you are and be yourself and that's a great great message from any story or any film or any book any tv show it's just you know be yourself because there's only one you and that's brilliant that's a great thing that i took away from this film i love the cinematography of it there's a lot of cgi in this but it's used to great effect you know i believe that some of the dogs uh, some of the dalmatian scenes were cgi they had to be just the way they looked but it was used really well very similar to how the cgi was used in the lion king the less we say about that movie the better but the cgi in that film was really good as it is in this one so it's very understated in, uh, in the cgi i mean and Everything else is deliciously over the top. Emma Thompson's character is very reminiscent of Meryl Streep in The Devil Wears Prada. She's an absolute, shall we say, horror. How do I put this politely? Why do they keep portraying successful fashion designers as really nasty people? I don't get it. Driven? Yes. Determined? Yes. Um, passionate? Yes. Why do they have to be nasty? I mean, I suppose it gives Estella a foil you know, somebody to play against, somebody to play off. Um, and as the story unfolds, it explains Estella's uh, nature much better. So I won't give it away, no spoilers, but uh, yeah, that's definitely, you can definitely see it there. I love the scenery, it's, it's set predominantly in London and it just looks great. Uh, it's very funny, it's very endearing, 
it's a really good paced film, well paced film I should say. It's, it's over two hours long but never feels like it's dragging and I think kind of comes down to the directors and the stars and the characters and the story and every, everybody who worked on it has done a really really good job on this but then is that really a surprise from a Disney movie? Not for me. Disney films, I can probably count on one hand Disney films that have not really floated my boat. I'm one of the few people that doesn't actually like Bambi. So maybe that's one, you know, the live action Lion King. Again, less is said about that film, the better. But other than that, Disney pretty much knock it out of the park every time. And Cruella is yet another excellent addition to their catalogue. And for me, I'm going to rate this as 8 out of 10. Watch this movie. If you get a chance to see Cruella, you will not be disappointed. It is a really rip-roaring ride. It's as camp as you like, it's over the top as you like, and it's got a great moral of be yourself. So, eight out of 10, watch it. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, drop us a like and subscribe to see all future content.